gonna turn that off. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna fix this. God, I look so goth. Hold on. Well, for the kids in my school, sorry this video is coming up a little bit late. <laughs> hey guys, it's Katie. My tongue is red. I'm gonna fix it. So one of the most grueling days of the school year, which I actually get excited about, I mean, it's it's like a love-hate relationship when it comes to this kind of day, is picture day. It's fun looking for outfits and trying to be all cute, making sure that your picture looks perfect. I need it. Hold on. My arms just jiggled in. Gosh. I've lost so much weight because of, mar of the marching band, so now I'm just like, ugh. And just so you know, this is a Victoria's Secret bralette that's showing because this thing is just, it's huge on me now. <laughs> Today I wanted to give you some tips on some like makeup and some outfit tips and just some things to make your picture look good. Now the best thing for you to do with outfits is really know your skin tone. Like me, I'm really pale, like you can tell right here. I just put on some of those tan towels every once in a while and I need to reapply sometime because there is like streaks going on my arm. Um, but I'm really, really pale, so I like to wear things maybe a little bit... I don't wear anything dark because then I'll have a picture like that last one. But I do wear things that are a little bit, like, subtle, but maybe a little bit dark. Like this year, I'm going to be wearing this shirt I got at JCPenney. It's from Nicole by Nicole. So I'll have to tire on it because I'm wearing it. But partially because I have this tan stuff on, it'll be fine. And then it has a really cute back with a white. But then I paired it with... I paired it with this pink, this pink cardigan that has little palm trees and stuff on it to make it seem a little lighter than it really is. And that'll help bring out my skin tone and that'll help bring everything out. I have to think about is um, my hair color because my hair is actually blonde, but around this time of year it gets very brown and it's, it, it's just, it's bad. So one of my favorite hairstyles to do, typically when I have longer hair but I have short hair now, um, I love to curl my hair when it comes to pictures just because it looks really nice. Curling iron that I use is actually, I think it's a one inch, and it's a T3, which is like really expensive, but it's very nice, and it goes up to 410 degrees. And I used to use this literally every day on my hair, and it would just perfectly curl everything. And I still kind of use it on, this hair, on my hair every once in a while now. Uh, got it. Nailed it. <laughs> And it looks really nice because it gets to a hotter, like a hotter temperature, which makes the hotter, I don't want to say that, but the hotter the temperature typically, the better it holds. And also, it, uh, but just be careful that if it's really hot, it might burn your hair and that's not good. But just be careful what temperature you put it on. But I like it because it actually works and it stays and it looks really nice. But the hairstyle I'm probably going to do is, one thing I've been doing is I've been doing light, like light curls with my, with my straightening iron. And I will do it with my hair, which will make it like really nice. And then I pull it back in this hairstyle I've been doing lately. And um, these parts, these pieces that are like my sideburns kind of, that are way too short to be pulled back into the ponytail. I take these out, I leave these out, and I let my layers, I pin back my layers with the bobby pin. And it just leaves you with like a really cute little look. Like I can pull a few of these back. And it just looks really, really cute, and I also it also brings out more of my face and stuff. Because I used to be that person that would, that never wore a ponytail in school because I thought it made me look big. It didn't make me look good. So I was always afraid to put my hair in a ponytail, but look at me now. Look at me now. Oh, I'm getting paper. Now on to makeup. One thing I've been using a lot lately, um, I've been obsessed with this thing. Oh, I can get it up for you guys. One of the things to do when it comes to like pictures and stuff, especially your eye makeup, you want to make your eyes pop. When I have blue eyes, I have actually been doing a smoky stuff because I got the Naked Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. <gasps> My precious. This thing is so amazing. Um, I went to a thing at um, Ulta where Urban Decay came and they um, did my makeup, which I bet you've seen that picture maybe on Instagram. <laughs> I looked up my YouTube name one time on Google Images and that was one of the first things that came up, so I'm like, oh, well, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, but this thing, it actually folds backwards, so it's easier to hold. Well, it doesn't fold all the way back like the other ones, but it just folds this way, and so you can fold back and... It has all these beautiful colors, and what I've been doing is, um, I put on my primer first, always use your primer kids, and I've been using the pink, which is called Combust, on top. 
Then over on the side, I go next to the side and I do whiskey and I do radar because radar has always been a favorite of mine. Radar is just a continual favorite of mine. Then I use dirty sweet, which is like the gold around there. And then around the lining over here, I use a little bit of the black, which is called black market, but I use it on the, the smaller side of the brush. Underneath, I will use a little bit of radar as well, and some, or sometimes armor. Just depends on whatever, and armor is this coarse be armor. But sometimes whatever, whichever one I want to use. And then there are two whites actually. There's 13 and then there's high. And either one I use in the very center because it's just, because always use, use white in the middle in the center of your eye, like over here, because that makes you look more awake. And it just finishes off the look. And I think it looks really nice. So doing bright eyes is always good because then it makes your eyes pop. Like right now, since I have a little bit, I have gold on my eyes, blue eyes, blue eye girls, just so you know. Gold looks great on you. For blue eyes and green eye girls, you mainly want to use the colors like um, like gold and then like pinks and then some browns, but not too much brown. But use brown on the sides. Whoa, just suddenly got so much darker in here, but brighter this way, jeez. <laughs> but you want to use colors like that so that your eyes can be like pop. Or Because otherwise, I used to do this thing where I used to wear, I thought black eyeshadow was what you had to do, so I thought that was the smoky eye. And it just made me look goth and I didn't, it wasn't good. <laughs> Mm-hmm, that wasn't good. I'm thinking of those times now. <laughs> For my foundation I've actually been using lately, I have been using, again, from Urban Decay, I've been using the Naked Urban Decay Skin, Naked Skin by Urban Decay, and I am actually .1. I am not .5 anymore. Ha ha ha! Darker from Marching Band, I'm going to not as pale. And what I do is I put a little bit on the brush and then I just brush it around. And this brush is actually, it's a Handy Bookie by Bear Centrals. And this is just like a little nice brush I found that in one of my drawers that I haven't used in a while. And it just rubs it around and it makes it so even. And the one thing I really like about this is that it's water-based instead of like anything else. Really, it's just so nice because since it's water-based, it evens out your skin. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels super light. You barely feel it. Sometimes I forget I'm even wearing, <laughs> I'm wearing foundation. Like I'll scratch myself and I'll be like, oh God. And I'll see foundation, all my black nails. And I'll be like, well, I guess I am wearing foundation. I'll just totally forget because it doesn't even feel like you're wearing it. It's great. When the flashing lights hit you and everything, one thing you want to make sure is that you don't look flushed. But a good thing to use is I have this, this is the Givenchy Paris one. This is a highlighter and if I can show you how this one works if it's not dead. It's an instant light corrective pen and basically you put it underneath your eye. It's not dead, thank goodness. And then you just rub it in underneath your eyes. Lines and crow nest and like crow's feet. Crow nest, that's not what that's not a thing. But then you look more awake and you look highlighted and open for the day. So then when those fl when that flash hits you, it doesn't it just it doesn't like absorb your skin. It takes more takes more of you and it's a better picture that way. The biggest thing for most girls is making your eyes especially pop because it's just from up here. That's why I didn't show you what pants I'm wearing, so I'm probably just gonna wear some nice jeans. <laughs> Because it's obviously torso and top. You want to look at your face. You don't want to look back and be like, I regret that decision. The big things I like to encourage is to wear not black eyeliner, but just like an eyeliner. See, black eyeliner, what it does, it, a lot of times, if you don't know how to use it right, like use it properly, then it just makes you look flushed and it'll make you look gothic and instead of like girly and cute and it doesn't look the best especially on camera because you know the default background is a gray background so wearing black eyeliner and black stuff all the time is not the best thing to do when it comes to like the gray background and stuff especially especially if you're as pale as I am <laughs> I've learned from experience ladies <laughs> so I encourage like I have this this is an Ulta brand it's a precision liquid eyeliner slate gray this is a gray one and it's just it's a precision brush so it's like a needle for the most part and so just a little gray or here's like this is what I'm actually wearing right now it's a Ulta liquid eyeliner and it's like it's a shimmery gray and I wear that every once in a while because like if you can see it because it just looks really nice and it gives you a little bit of pop especially for me with blue eyes blue and green eyes especially but still use this <laughs> and then this one is actually if I can read this 
use it sometimes. This is actually just a liquid brown, and it is because with blue eyes and green eyes, especially, I highly encourage brown brown eye eyeliner because brown eyeliner looks the best on you and like me it looks the best on blue and green eyes because it doesn't it's not too dark and it just makes your eyes pop more I highly suggest this this is this is elf brand it's called coffee and then I also if you're not into liquid eyeliner I'm into liquid eyeliner because I can I've after a couple years of using liquid eyeliner I've learned how to use it it's kind of like gel you have to you have to practice with it you have to fail and succeed before you can really become a master at it um, but if you're not into that I there's also a Laura Geller this is the one I have is the eye care waterproof eyeliner brown and it has a little bit of smudge brush if you want to smudge it and make it like wings and make it look nice but here's what it looks like it looks I do the makeup guru thing with my green hand <laughs> I dropped it but I suggest those especially for mascara lately I have actually been using this one and it's called the Urban Decay Perversion and it's bigger blacker and badder this thing is huge look at that it's huge and it just makes your eyes your eyelids look in your eyes <laughs> it makes your lashes just look so nice I used it right before here right before I started filming again and it just looks so freaking fantastic. It just takes a few coats of this and my eye, my, my lashes already look fantabulous. Fan, I was a fantastic when I started saying fantabulous, so I went for fantabulous. <laughs> but yes, that stuff is the bomb diggity. I would get that stuff. But finally, onto the lips. This, okay, I wear lipstick sometimes. You know I wear that pink stuff a lot, but I learned a thing with lipstick recently. This stuff I've had for a really, really long time. Like, I use this in my dance days. Um, this is the Mood Matcher Lip Care Stick. And it's a red, and it actually, like you can tell, it's at the bottom. <laughs> and this is just a red. And um, what I learned from the lipstick is that you need to actually put it on the bottom lip. You put it on for the bottom lip, and then you can just smudge it. It just gives you more of a fuller, like a better look. And as you can see, it's darker on the bottom lip, sure, but then it just makes your lips pop and it makes them look thicker and fuller and see, like if I were to smile for my picture right now, you would notice more here instead of just putting on a bunch everywhere. So that's a good tip for lipstick. And my final thing is this thing my mom actually showed me. It's by Skin by Dimitri, it's Skin by Dimitri James. It's a three minute lip party. It's a plumping gel mask. And what you do is you put a thick, thick, thick coat of this pink stuff, and I see it's pink, on your lips, and then, well, I have to take off the lipstick, but I'll show you. And then you just leave it on for about three, five minutes, and then you take it off, and you'll feel it tingle. It does tingle. And then your lips are immediately plump. Like, here, I'll show you. Here's my lips right now. I am going to put some of this stuff on. I'll put a thick coat. Now we just leave it on for a few minutes and I will be right back with you. My dog is... Chester, what? Come on in! Come on in, dog! You're in love. You're in love. I took a few video of him and I was singing to him on my Snapchat. No, we've been friends so long and it seems so wrong. Speaking of which, my Snapchat and stuff is down below. This dog right down here. Oh, he said, what's this up here? Where's this camera? Hello, people. <laughs> and as you can see now, my lips are like plumper and they're just, they're more plump, I should say. I don't know. I'm in AP English. I should know this. <laughs> doesn't, it tingles a little bit. Feels really nice though. And then afterwards, look at this. Here, I'll even be after now. So those are my picture day, like outfits, makeup, and hair tips. <laughs> I tried to be cute there didn't really work. Chester, you want to say goodbye with me? If you like what you see here, comment, like, subscribe. <laughs> My social media links are below. So, adios. Chester, you say bye? <laughs> say bye. You want to say bye? He knows the word bye. Bye, guys.